Yo, what's going on, you homos? My name is Potato, or I am Potato. My name is Potato. My my name is actually not Potato. What the fuck am I talking about? I should just shut the fuck up. But I am actually kind of pissed off right now. So I was playing Modern Warfare 3 earlier on the map Interchange. I haven't ever gotten a Moab on that map, and I was one kill off, 26 and 0. I previously it was in drop zone, and I gotten two kills with precision airstrike. So that leaves me 26, and I needed to get to 27, and I had on assassin, and the game ends. That pissed me off. Anyways, um, I want to talk about some Black Ops 2, some create a class systems, some things have been changed, actually it's all been changed, and I want to discuss that. Um, this is actually a pretty bad gameplay, well, consider I'm using the ACR and the FMG9s, it was when the, uh, the, the face-off playlist first came out, so this is an older gameplay, but I finish, uh, I finish, I, I finish up, that's a new word, finish, I finish up going 17 and 4, but... It is with the ACR, and everybody else is using MP7 and Type 95, so don't give me shit about that, because it was a shitty lobby, even though we won. Um, so I'm just going to quit ranting about that, and talk about this new create a class system that they've incorporated into Black Ops 2. Now don't get me wrong, things could change, um, until like from now until the game comes out. But from what we have now, and what we have confirmed from Treyarch, is that they have removed the slot system that we have right now you know the three perks your equipment your secondaries and your primaries now I don't think there's gonna be death streaks because I haven't said anything about that and that's something that Treyarch's known for not putting in death streaks and that's amazing so what they're adding in is a 10 point allocation system which replaces your primary secondary grenades equipment your perks attachments all of that for example, you could have two primary weapons, which and that could be overpowered primaries and an overpowered perk, and you would only have that. That's all you would have: one perk and two primaries, because the way it is, you're going to get ten points. And say if it was in Modern Warfare 3, the MP7. Say you wanted to use the MP7 Assassin and Sit Rep, the MP7 would probably take up about four points. That'd be taking away four of your ten, so you'd only have six. Assassin would be three. And sit rep would be three. That would only leave you with one point. And uh, I think the way they're doing that, or why they're doing that, is to keep people from using overpowered weapons and pissing people off. Kind of like uh, what happens to me when people use MP7, Dead Silence, sit rep, or whatever, Assassin. Uh, they'll take that away and you won't be able to use all the overpowered stuff in one. And that will be amazing, I'm guessing, because... it. If you compare it to Black Ops, it'd be like using the FAMAS and Ghost. Uh, that would take up, like, all of your points, and that's all you'd be able to use. You wouldn't have any of your second tier or your first tier or third tier perks, and you wouldn't have any equipment. Another cool thing is you can fill up, or you can use all of your points on perks and equipment and not use a weapon, and you can run around knifing. Now, there's kind of a problem with that because uh, you guys know that I hate knifing, or at least people who panic knife or just run around the map and knifing. The only problem, or the only person that I don't really have a problem with doing that is only using me blade because that's what he's known for and that's what his channel revolves around and that's just how he plays. But when all these people want to do that, that's kind of annoying. And I made a video about this earlier saying if they added in, you know, a two hit knife system, that would be amazing. But now they're going to add in to where, um, you just run around the map, you know, you can knife with just all perks and pick up people's weapons. I just, I hate knifing in general, and I think of some of the earlier Call of Duty games or Medal of Honor games, you could just run around, and I don't think there was a knife, but you used, like, the stock of your gun to, like, melee enemies. I think if they took out knife and added in that, and put it, and made it to where, um, your knife is actually one of your secondary or primaries, that would make it perfect. Um, but, you know, these are pretty much just my all of my opinions um, on how this is going to play out. You guys let me know um, what you think of this, you know. I mean, it's something different, and it adds more creativity to the game, and that's what it's all about. That's what Treyarch's all about, and that's why I like Treyarch better than Infinity Ward and all the other game developers out there. But you guys let me know what you think of this. And, oh, and the interview with James C. Burns or Frank Woods, I'll have that out in the next couple days. He's been really busy working, um, so it's we're either going to do it tonight, tomorrow night, or whenever he gets time. We're going to do it in a group call, so there's going to be lots of other people. But if you guys enjoyed, be sure to smack that like button, and I'll catch you later. Have a good one. See ya.